Today we're going to draw the electrical system for the PA44. This is actually a very simple system. There's not a lot to it at all, and so this one will be quite quick. Uh, we'll begin by drawing a couple of alternators. There's the left alternator and the right alternator, and we'll draw a battery. There we go. So we've got two alternators and we've got a battery, and that's the uh, sources of electrical power for the aircraft. Uh, now we're going to draw the tie bus, and we're going to draw that in, oh, let's see, we'll draw that in purple. It's kind of special, so we're going to draw it in a different color to set it apart. Uh, tie bus. There we go. Okay. Then we can draw um, the connections from the main to the tie bus, or excuse me, from the alternators to the tie bus goes just like that. So the alternators feed the tie bus. Uh, and the battery also feeds the tie bus, uh, but it does that through an intermediary, which we'll draw that in just a second here. In fact, let's do it now. Um, the battery feeds a battery bus, which we'll draw right there. There's the battery bus. And the battery feeds that bus and then that bus feeds the tie bus as well. So there we go. Now, I'm going to highlight, see if I can do this properly. There we go. I've highlighted that line in, uh, in red, and there's a special reason for that. It's because the battery is directly connected to the battery bus, and so this is always active. There's always an electrical connection uh, where I've drawn that red and white line. So the battery bus is always receiving power, whether or not the battery master switch is on. Uh, we can draw the rest of the buses now, and we'll do that. Uh, we've got an avionics bus right here. That's uh, avionics 1. And we've got another one here. That's uh, avionics 2. We can connect those. They connect to the tie bus. They also connect to each other, just like that. So the avionics bus number one can be fed by the tie or two. Uh, number two can be fed by the tie or number one. Uh, we'll also draw the non-essential bus. It lives up here. There we go, non-essential bus. We can connect that up. Okay. And uh, we can finally draw the main bus. And the main bus goes just like that. There we go. So now we've got a total of six buses. Uh, and that's all that are actually in um, the airplane. We've got the battery bus, number one, uh, avionics, one and two, two and three, tie bus itself, which is number four main bus which is five and the non-essential bus which is six we've got one two alternators and we've got a battery so three sources of electrical energy and uh... that's really that's really all that there is for the oop, excuse me i'm wrong uh... because we have to connect the main bus to the tie bus there we go the main bus is connected to the tie bus there are one-way diodes which prevent the main bus from feeding backwards into the tie bus. So there we go. So now we've got the main bus. It, uh, it only receives power from the tie. It doesn't provide power to the tie. And that's it. That's the electrical system. Now this was really quick and uh, there's not much to this system. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the various components and we're going to add on to it a little bit. So here we go. Um, the alternators are 70 amp and they are um, shoot uh, 14 volt so 14 volt and same over here 70 amp 14 volt uh, the battery is a 35 amp hour uh, 12 volt battery 
So the alternators run at 70 amps, 14 volts. They energize the tie bus. Uh, the tie bus, when uh, energized by the alternators, feeds backwards through the battery bus into the battery. Uh, otherwise, the battery powers the tie bus, which powers everything else. We can put that aside for a second. All right, uh, let's talk about the various buses and what they do. Uh, the battery bus. It runs the clock. It runs the Hobbs meter. It runs the tack meter and it runs the heater meter. So the clock and the various meters uh, are all powered by the battery bus and remember the battery bus receives its power continuously from the battery no matter what the position of the battery master switch is. So the clock always runs even when the airplane is off as do the Hobbs attack and the heater meters. Um, and that's uh, for obvious reasons you don't want to reset the clock every time you get in the airplane. Uh, the Avionics 1 bus, um, or rather the Avionics bus is taken together. Uh, Avionics 1 runs COM 1, NAV 1, the transponder, the... Um, shoot. It runs the... Um, oh, trim, right, electric trim. which was a weird one because it's not really an avionic, I had some trouble thinking of it, and the audio panel. Avionics 2 runs NAV2, COM2, and it runs the marker beacon. And that's it for the avionics. Uh, the comms, the navs, the transponder, the audio panel, marker beacon, and for some reason, the electric trim uh, is also on avionics number one. Uh, on the non-essential bus, we have pretty much the recog lights, standby lights, we have the heater, we have the vent fan, and we have the overhead blower, which is uh, separate from the vent fan. So the recog lights, standby lights, and then pretty much the environmental equipment is on the non-essential bus, the heater, the fan, and the blower. And then the main bus is actually really easy because it's uh, everything else. And that includes things like the fuel indicators, the gear system, so power to raise and lower the landing gear, uh, the pitot heat, the oh, fuel pumps, uh, and, and really everything else that's on board the plane, the starter. Uh, really everything that isn't uh, environmental or one of the avionics or the clock runs off of the main bus. So there you go. There's the electrical system for the PA-44. It's very simple. The tie bus is the center of everything. The tie bus receives power from the alternators left and right and it receives power from the battery as well through the battery bus. Uh, let's see if we can get some voltages here. 70 amp, 14 volt, 35 amp hour, 12 volt. Um, the battery bus is always engaged uh, and it powers the clock, the Hobbs meters, and the tech meter. It either receives power from the battery all the time or from the tie bus if it happens to be energized. Uh, we've got the avionics which run the comms, the navs, the transponder, the audio panel, the electric trim, and the marker beacon. We've got the non-essential which runs the heater, the vent fan, the blower, the recog lights, and the standby lights. And we've got the main bus which runs pretty much everything else. And so there's the electrical system for the PA44. Uh, that's it for the day. See ya.